So this is how you walk in the tunnels. On the, uh, on the state of hell, again, once you basically have identified, finished your responsibility for the, for the tenth, so you put on your regular clothes. Yes. How you know you are an American sentinel? The they'll put you, if you are, they will, uh, they will let you know. VIP. Yeah. I think Adam Travel does not. Adam go. Travel does not go to the, uh, to the American seg segment. They do. They do? They do? Not ours. Yeah. No. I'm talking about. <laughs> No, no tricky question. I have like five minutes. <laughs> I don't need this. So again, you are a state of hell. So when you go to your hotel now, you could wearing different clothes. You will get to replenish your money, replenish your medications, it replenish all of that. Inshallah Taala. Timeline, if you would, on the tenth of the Hijjah, you are going back to midnight, minute after midnight. On the eleventh of the Hijjah, if possible, take uh, on the, um, um, take your uh, bus ride to Mecca first. So don't do your stoning. But after Asr prayer, if you could go to the Jamarat and do the stoning, that's a possibility, not necessarily is the, is the only way of doing it. On the 12th of Al-Hijjah, wait. Stay in Mina after Fajr prayer. Then after Dhuhr prayer or after Asr prayer, you could go. If you want to do the hastening, most of the people will do that. Do your stoning and get out of, the, uh, uh, out of uh, Mina before Maghrib prayer. That is a suggestive, if you would, uh, for, uh, itinerary, if you would. On the 13th of the Hijjah, you will be in your hotel. You are enjoying a prayer in the, uh, in the, in the Haram. Uh, and make sure that you get Zamzam. You could buy Zamzam from various areas. They do the sealing for you, and it's free of charge. When you get to America, they call it holy water. Okay, they seal it for you and they put your tag on it and they basically ship it for you to the United States. So you could buy it from various areas. How do you guys buy it in, in Zamzam? In, uh... Just the airport, uh, now they have the boxes like these. Okay. When you get to check in, they'll just put a tag and it goes. Call us, that's very easy. And it comes in the oversized package and tell us. MashaAllah, very nice. Okay. Jet the airport, by all means, they will, again, they will process you. They may ship you out. You say that uh, my plane is at 11 a.m. Why are we leaving at 11 p.m.? Is there a why here? Yeah, no, no there is no why because they got to process hundreds of people. So they may get you out. To, the Brother Hassan tells you, man after Maghrib, make sure that you do wada. Our plane is tomorrow. Yeah, you got to do finish your tawaf al wada in order for them again to take you into and bus you and make sure that you will get into the airport in time in order for you to finish your hajj, inshallah ta'ala. Do not lose your hajj. Be patient. And you could tell that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted your hajj. How can you tell? How can you tell? Not only in here. If your conduct is continue to improve after your hajj. If you come out of your hajj and you go back to your norms that you've done every day, to your same faults, to your same things, your hajj is really not there. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna say here a few words here, your hajj is not acceptable. Yeah. Only if the hasana is with another hasana, only if you have come back a better person, and you continue to be a better person, that's when you know Allah has accepted it from you. So make sure when you finish all of this, your, your still conduct is good. You will be tested also in Jeddah airport. You will maybe tested by our lovely people at TSA at the airport like I do. They always welcome me with open hands. Labid, where you've been, man, all this time? So they always miss me. So, so, and, and so make sure when you come here to Raleigh, your conduct is really much better than what you started with. That's when we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted it from you. What okay. I'm not going to do into that because I don't have time. 
so again, there will be some ticketing, boarding passes. I don't know whether then now they give Quran uh, gifts or they don't. They do give Quran gifts when you come back. Please achieve good hajj. May Allah accept from you. What is most important? Make dua. Make dua for me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of you. Uh, if someone could give me a small container of zamzam, I'd appreciate it, but that's okay. Uh, make dua for your parents, for yourself, for your children, and for Muslims all over the place. Any questions? I have a question. Yes. So you said on the 10th and 11th, we need to be in Mina before midnight. On the 10th? On the 10th. On the 10th. And 11th? No. I mean, it's, it's better to be there before midnight. But there is, okay. Yeah. So as long as you do stoning, inshallah. The scholars now, they have, okay. they are giving a whole lot more flexibility okay. than the norm. It's definitely better to be there before midnight. Okay. Yes. So 10th and 11th. So basically on the 11th, we should not do Jamarat after Fajr prayer. That's what you're saying. Yeah, the 11th, not after Fajr, after Zawal. After Zawal, right. Again, this is what the Prophet Muhammad yes, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, now the scholars are opening it all over the place. So same thing on the 10th, on the, on the 12th, Yes. but leave before Maghrib prayer. Yes. 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 So on the, on the 11th and the 12th, you do the stoning shortly before Dhuhr prayer, if you want to be safe after Dhuhr prayer, and do it before Maghrib prayer, if possible. Okay? But if you couldn't, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala help you. So it's ideal time to do it maybe 20 minutes before the Hura prayer until Maghrib prayer for both the 11th and the 12th. Question? Yes. There is no specific things for women. No, she could wear anything as long as she does not cover her face and her hands. So she could not wear gloves nor she could cover her face. That's it. Wear whatever is comfortable to you. Yes. Yes. So Muzdalifa is, uh, is a, an obligation for men, if you would, and, uh, and uh, people without maharam or they are not sick to stay the, the night of Muzdalifa in Muzdalifa and pray Fajr there. Allah excused, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam excused, Allah excused Sauda, his spouse, to move about after midnight. So midnight is like 11.45 p.m. So you could move. If you go to Mina there, you could sleep in Mina until Fajr prayer, and then after Fajr you do the stoning. Are we doing good? May Allah accept from all of you. Don't forget me from your du'a, man. May Allah reward you all. May Allah date? accept from you. How about the dates kind of a stuff bringing from the, over here to the airport? Dates? Dates yeah. and the sons on the, on the airport, they will be okay? You are talking about dates? The, the food? Yes. If they are dry, it's fine. They do not accept fresh dates. So you could buy regular dates. So in the airport, they are okay? Because yes. the food we are bringing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As long as they are dry. Dry and dry. Not fresh. Now in Saudi Arabia, they sell dry and, and fresh. So get the dry one, not the fresh one. The fresh one, they do not allow. Fresh, fresh, fresh dates. Okay. But on the airport, they will be okay if we are bringing yes. because they are not okay to bring. Yes, 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 yes.